Hello, it's Orit here. Welcome to another video on the Estetino Artist channel where we share all kinds of tips related to helping you grow your business online. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a lead magnet in PowerPoint. So if you don't have any of those softwares, those tech skills, no need to worry. PowerPoint is super easy to deal with and it can help you produce amazing, gorgeous looking lead magnet PDFs that you could use to grow your email list and gain more subscribers. This is one example over here. I'll show you a couple more and then we can dive right into it. So I've been designing lead magnets in PowerPoint for, for a few years now. So this is one example. This is actually our lead magnet that we have on our website, 12 ready to film YouTube video ideas with outlines. And here's another one. I've actually designed hundreds of lead magnets in PowerPoint for my clients. And you can see, you can do some pretty amazing things just using PowerPoint. You can even turn it into something like a workbook or a worksheet, whatever will be most valuable for your viewers. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk briefly about how to put together the skeleton of your lead magnet. What does that content look like? I'm going to give you some tips and then also we'll go into PowerPoint and actually look at how to put this together, how to design your lead magnet. So if you already have your content for your lead magnet, just skip to that part in the video where we start talking about design. I'm going to list out the chapters in the description below so you can skip directly to that part and not waste any of your time. All right. So what makes a great lead magnet? So you got to remember that you're giving this PDF in exchange for someone's email address. So you've got to make it good. You got to make it on a topic that your target audience is really interested in. They really want to know the answer to that question, or they really want a solution to the problem that they're looking for. So typically you'll see that people offer PDFs that list out three, five, seven, 12 ways or ideas or solutions or tips that will help their target audience in a specific topic. So for here, you can see we give 12 ready to film YouTube video ideas so that our audience can go and easily create content for their YouTube channel. Over here, you see this, uh, this client of mine created a lead magnet, five easy steps to start a keto diet. Cause that's what she does is help people start keto diets and walks them through the whole process. Her audience is very interested in that beginning part of it. What, what is that like? What are some steps that I can take to just get started and moving in that direction? So you might already have a resource available. Maybe it's a blog post you've written. Maybe it's a video you've filmed. Think about turning that into a lead magnet and then you wouldn't have to create the content from scratch. But if you are starting from scratch, you have absolutely no content on this and you're just starting out, what you can do is you can go to Google and then just type in your topic. So let's say you're a web designer. So type in your topic and just scroll down to where you see people also ask. Google is going to tell you the common questions that people have around your topic. So how much does it cost to hire someone to design a website? How do I design a website? What are the five elements to good website design? So right off the bat, you know that these are the most compelling things that people ask on your topic. So you can create a lead magnet on the five elements or seven elements, uh, whatever that number is to create a stunning website that gets you sales. For example, you can see people are asking a lot about the cost. So maybe you can, t you can give them something that's like 10 ways you can bring down the cost of your website design without breaking the bank or something like that, or five ways you can build the website for under $500. So use this to your advantage and then list out in bullet points, those five things or seven things or 10 things, just bullet points for now. And you can worry about the content later. This is the skeleton. This is a really simple way and method to come up with a lead magnet efficiently and also at the same time, provide a ton of value to your audience. All right. So let's talk about starting to design your lead magnet in PowerPoint. So the first step is to open PowerPoint up and format it so that you take it from a presentation mode into an actual eight and a half by 11 page size. So I've opened PowerPoint up here. I'm going to click on uh, blank presentation, get rid of this. 
and then go to the design tab go to slide size and then custom slide size and then where it says slide size 4 just change this to letter paper and then change this part here to portrait so once you click OK it should and you can click on either one it doesn't matter which one you choose you'll see that it changes the format to the eight and a half by 11. So this is your starting point. This is where we can start to design our lead magnet. Now lead magnet, first step, you want to create a cover page. So like you see here, you can see here all of my pages are within PowerPoint for this lead magnet that you saw in the beginning of the video. And all I did is grab an image. So I sourced an image I put a headline at the top with a color block behind it and then our logo on the bottom. So you can model after this same thing. The first step is to design your cover page and you can easily head over to <clears throat> Pixabay or you can go to Pexels. Uh, there's a ton of royalty free image sites out there. So again, let's go website design. Let's just see what comes up. So you want to scroll through and all of these images are absolutely free to use um, and you don't have to worry about copyright or anything like that. So make sure you go to one of these sites so you can scroll through them and just when you want, when you're ready, you can click on one of them and click on free download and then download here. And you could see here, it says free for commercial use, no attribution required. So I'm just going to bring that in here directly. I'm going to drag it in. What you can also do is you could go to insert pictures, this device, and then go to your downloads folder and then you can um, grab it from here and open that up. So first thing here is your image and we want to center that over there. And you could see here, this is what it'll look like on the page. So let's not, if you don't want to cut off the book, for example, you can make it smaller. And once you have your image in there, now you can start to add in your headline and some other block colors. So really quickly here to create a block, you just go to insert shapes. And I like to use the rectangle and just click and drag to create your block. And you can come in here to shape fill and then just choose your brand colors. You want to make it on brand. Uh, or if you don't have brand colors, just make sure that it looks, the colors look nice in coordination with the image that you have here. And then to add your title, you can just double click and start typing. So this is your title. And I'm going to highlight all of that and go to home and you can format it however you like with the fonts and, um, and the size there. And you can even come over here and click on this icon here and select uppercase so that it's just all uppercase. And you can even adjust the spacing between the letters, which is also nice. So you can play around with that for your cover page. Just keep in mind that going back to here, nice colors, nice blocks of colors, have your heading at the top, maybe there's a subheading as well, and then your logo can go at the bottom. So step two is creating the body content for your lead magnet, which is all the pages that go in between or after your cover page. So all of these ones over here, which we also designed in PowerPoint, and it's super easy. All you need to do is just have a bar at the bottom, which is a footer. And if I'm zooming up here at the bottom, you can see here the footer is made of just like an all rights reserved, uh, copyright message with our website and maybe some contact information as well. So I'll show you how to create that back. Let's go back here and I'm going to right click and select a new slide and I'm going to go to insert shapes again with the shape and put this drag the bar here. Let's select the same colors and then I'm going to put all rights reserved and then you want to put the copyright icon which is under insert symbol double click that it's going to add it in there and then your company right so again i'm going to highlight all of that make it super small and then if you wanted to uh, hyperlink this to your website 
you can double click on the text that you want to hyperlink, right click, right click rather, and then select hyperlink. And then you can just type in any website here and it's going to make it into a link, but you might want to select just a lighter color so that we can see it like that. So that's your footer. And then everything else is super easy from there. You just need to, you know, paste all of your, the content, the body of your content over here. You'll have paragraphs of content. And all we need to do, we can delete this box up here. We can move each text box accordingly and create a little shape for your numbers. So it's like tip one, tip two, or way one, idea one, etc. Uh, you can use triangles, you can use circles. You can come in here, insert shape, and select any shape you like. Uh, there's even these little cool tabs here. So you could put a one on this. Uh, you could put all of your numbers like this. Let's just choose a different color for now for the sake. So let's do green. We can move that up here like so. I'm gonna double click and add the one. I like to make the numbers nice and big and blocky. Uh, and then you can adjust the sizing of this accordingly. But you can see here that once you have that, all you need to do is just click drag or it's supposed to select this as well. So if it doesn't select it, just select the text box and then select shift on your keyboard and click on the other element so that you're selecting all of it. And then I'm going to copy that and then paste it. So I have a copy of it and all, all I need to do is just move down here and change this number and this content. So once you start to do this, it, it becomes easier to duplicate things. If you have, if you need more pages, you can come over to the side, right click, select duplicate slide, and then just, you know, continue off from where you were before. All right, now step four of creating your lead magnet. We had step one, creating the outline or the content. Step two, create your cover page. Step three, create the body of the lead magnet. And the last piece here is the call to action. So you can see here on our lead magnet, we have an entire page at the end dedicated to what our call to action would be. So this is leading, you know, you've just provided a ton of value in your lead magnet. What should they do next? What do you want your audience to do next? Is it to contact you for a consultation? Is it to check out a particular course? Is it to, is it to join your Facebook group? Whatever that is, you want to put a call to action at the end of your lead magnet. So you could see here, um, what some other people did as well is, um, refer to another helpful article, but also joining a Facebook group. So whatever that call to action is, you can either create an entire page dedicated to it, or you can, if you have a lot of space to work with still, you can just kind of extend the footer upwards, delete this copyright information. Let's say you've, you've led them all up to 10 and that's where it ended for you. Now you can extend the footer, the block here, and create a call and put your call to action on this piece over here. So maybe, you know, we add another nice block of, of color here. You want your call to action to stand out. So put it on top of a lot of color and more of a bold design than the rest of your lead magnet. So you could put what's next. Um, and again, you can make that all caps to stand out like so. And then you can have some bullet points here. So I'm going to go to insert text box. I'll show you how to add those bullet points really quickly. Um, do this. Oh, we need to change that. So let's go to white and then add the bullet points here. All right. So do this, do that. And then of course you would, hyperlink like I showed you before to take people to those other resources. And that's it. It's pretty simple to design. Of course, it's going to take you a little bit longer to make things look really good. You, the last step would be to go to file, save as, and then save on your computer as a PDF where it says save as type, 
select PDF. I'm just going to save this on my desktop. And so you'll have a ready to go PDF document. This is our fabulous lead magnet that we put together right now. So that is how you design your lead magnet in PowerPoint, guys. If you can't be bothered to do this yourself or you rather just outsource it, then feel free to contact me. I'm happy to help whether you have your content ready to go or not. Just shoot me an email and I'll put that email address in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.